Okay, Wednesday the 3rd uh, of January on the Compete program, we are starting the session with some relatively heavy power cleans. So you're gonna build up to a daily heavy triple, ideally not going to failure. You don't wanna to push too hard on these sets. We're gonna use a percentage of these for A2. So trying to just to finish your last set with three really heavy, challenging reps, but where you're not pushing yourself um, to failure or to technical breakdown. So have a little bit of restraint as you build up through those sets. You're then gonna go down to 80% uh, of what you hit with a weight cap of 102 or 70 kilos. And you're gonna on the minute for 10 minutes um, and a set of echo bite calories. Yes, we did echo bite yesterday, but I'm pretty sure there's no one who is ever too good at echo bite, so we're gonna do it again today. So echo bite calories on minute one, and minute two is five touch and go power cleans at that heavy load. Um, you have targets based on elite RX and intermediate. And again, like I talked about yesterday, reflect back to when we did any of those echo bike intervals. If you do the engine sessions with echo bike, don't be too aggressive with those targets. Um, it is gonna get really, really taxing on the posterior chain to go into the touch and go reps after the echo bike. So if anything, ease off the echo bike calories a little bit to be able to make sure you hit the power cleans as that is the main focus of this session and the echo bike is there to add a lot of fatigue but not necessarily to have to chase a number of calories just because you think you are rx or just because you think you are elite so try and keep that in mind when you're hitting those um hitting those calories we we'll move on to some single leg strength looking at some heavy bulgarian split squats and then we have um, a pretty good amrap here a challenging combination um, of handstand push-ups, so choosing either the elite RX or intermediate version where you have different types of, uh, of uh, handstand push-up and then 12 American kettlebell swings which is a full kettlebell swings up overhead trying to have that kettlebell finish directly over the body and your body nice and locked out and then 18 GHD sit-ups so it's going to be a lot of hinging in this workout lower back is certainly going to feel this it's just 12 minutes so you should be able to push relatively hard and your goal is hitting around roughly every two minutes. After that, we just have a little bit of core work um, to finish today's session.